Recently, Silver Star Clothing Apparel brought former UFC lightweight title challenger Diego Sanchez to Street Fighter's boutique in Montreal. The aggressive New Mexico native feels it was the perfect pairing. We're here, man, uh, a street fighter, and you know what other fighter could you have better than me? Because um, I was I was raised a street fighter, and when it all comes down to it, I'm still that street fighter in the cage. I want to take that adrenaline in the cage and harness it and, and use it against my opponent. That's why I like to consider myself a, a street fighter of UFC. The nightmare who worked with Greg Jackson extensively throughout his career has returned to Albuquerque after a stint in San Diego, working with decorated jiu-jitsu specialists Salo and Janji Hibero. The Ultimate Fighter Season 1 winner is happy to return back to his roots, but feels the move at the time was a necessary one. Um, I left New Mexico because there was a lot of reasons. You know, I was born and raised, never left, you know what I mean? Young kid, I had to get out there and do my thing. There was some, you know, I threw a fit, you know what I mean? Um, we brought George on the team. At the time, I was undefeated welterweight. You know, I wasn't comfortable with that, and so I left, and um, you know what I mean? And, that's just, that was my personal opinion and I followed my heart and um, that's all there is to it. The 28 year old feels that choosing the perfect opponent helps motivate him to be the best that he can be. And in turn, he puts on a better performance come fight night. You gotta take the right fights that you know are gonna motivate you. You know what I mean? For me, I like fighting an opponent that I know it, when I get in there, I'm gonna get hit in the face, I'm gonna get hit in the face hard and I need to do what I need to do to be 100% ready to do what it's going to take for me to win the fight. One such adversary is Danish Thai boxer turned complete fighter Martin Campman. The two are set to square off in the main event on the UFC's third event on the Versus Network. That's the biggest fight for me right now. You know what I mean? That guy was um, a contender um, going into his last fight. Some people thought he won his last fight against Shields. So he's, he's got a good name. He's a tough guy and it's going to make for a great, uh, great versus main event. A number of fighters have chosen to divide their time between two weight classes, but the BJJ brown belt feels that he will take the best opportunity no matter what division. For me, it's just all about taking the best, biggest fight that I could take. And, you know, whether that be at 155 or 170, uh, right now it's at 170.